Sam Mustafa is well known for producing the popular rule sets Blucher, Longstreet and Maurice as part of his Honor series. Sam aims to produce fun and challenging war games whilst representing the tactics and history of the periods as closely as possible. The latest of these rule sets is Rommel, covering the European and Mediterranean theatres of World War II from early to late war. This is a hardback book using high quality paper with a pleasing satin finish. Beginning with a brief discussion of the Desert Fox himself, the book then introduces the player to the game concepts. These include the unit cards, the game turn, table setup, terrain and zones of control. Chapter 2 deals with units and markers and explains what the units on the table represent in real life. Being a game based around unit cards, the rest of the chapter leads the player through the various symbols on the cards. It ends with a description of the markers used in the game. Chapter 3 covers all the basic concepts and phases of play that make up a full game. Supply is an important part of Rommel and players should read this chapter regarding this with care. As it should be in a game encompassing motorised combat, the movement phase is extensive and well covered. The combat rules are equally extensive covering artillery, tank battles and airstrikes. As you can see there is a very helpful combat example provided to help you understand the system. The final part of the basic game is reorganisation and objectives. Reorganisation allows you to mitigate your losses under certain circumstances. Objectives are usually the targets of the scenario and are either static or trophies. Trophies disappear once captured and static, as the name implies, remain on the table or game. Once you have mastered the basic game you will want to start introducing some of the extra complexity that Rommel encompasses. This is the advanced game. A large chapter covering all those aspects of warfare missing from the basic game. It is here that reinforcements are introduced, as well as environment rules and guidelines for running multiplayer club games. Open architecture is the term Sam Mustafa has used for describing how the game builds its armies. It means you have full view of the maths behind the point system, so you can build your own units and ultimately armies. Alongside this there are units and army lists already provided for American, British, French, German, Italian and Soviet armies, allowing you to get started quickly. The last chapter contains several scenarios and finally there are six appendices including FAQs, guidance on creating historic scenarios, a quick reference sheet and a useful index. This well produced and detailed book contains all you need to play a game of Rommel once you add a table and some figures. In fact you don't even need figures and can just use cards. These can be produced using the DIY card file that is provided on the Honor website. You can also find the introductory Operation Brevity scenario referenced in the rules, along with an advanced scenario for refighting the assault on Juno Beach. Being largely scale independent means the game can be played in almost any scale you like. On first glance these rules may appear daunting, but the layout and use of examples helps to make them remarkably accessible. The rules combine elements of the board game with the tabletop miniatures game to provide a level of gameplay that attempts to simulate the combat decisions of a divisional or possibly core commander. The fact that it does so and potentially allows you to play out a scenario involving whole swathes of units involving thousands of men over the course of an evening is a major achievement.